All right, guys. So I thought this would be a fun video to do um, as like a, just a fun video since it looks like D uh, James Gunn and DC is moving full steam ahead with these new movies. And I'm going to be basically talking about the top 10 DC characters I would love to see get a film. Now, full disclaimer, there is at least one character who I think get a remake. There is one. Um, I didn't put every single character on here. And if you think, as always, if you think a character should be higher or lower on the list or not at all, that's totally fine. I'm always excited to hear where these characters and where your lists sit for all of this. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started with number 10. Number 10 is Dead Man. I would love to see a Dead Man movie. They've been trying to get it off the ground. I think Dead Man would be really cool. It'd be a nice little horror direct detective show kind of show. I do think that um, you need someone to play Boston Brand. Um, and you need someone who can not only fill kind of the horror but also kind of the uh, comedy, because Boston Brand isn't, like, so, like in some cases, he's actually kind of, like, fun and has a lot of, like, energy to him. Um, he's a very, you know, he can be jovial if he needs to be. He can be, like, really, like, kind and, and be um, happy-go-lucky, even though he's dead. So I think you need somebody with that. As for the story, I wouldn't know. I would kind of adapt the um, Blood and Glory story, where... Um, it involved uh, Batman, and basically in that story, it was basically, I've said basically a lot, it was more or less a story where Batman and Dead Man teamed up to take on this being called the Clown, who was like the anti-Dead Man. It's kind of weird, but I think you could do that, just take Batman out and do something with that, and the whole story was more or less Dead Man trying to protect this guy who was going to be reborn as Jesus, as like the next Messiah. And I'm like, okay, that's a movie right there, you just don't need Batman. Um, and it'd work as a dead man movie. Yeah. As for director, um, I think this would be kind of a cool story for Sam Raimi to do. I really do think Sam Raimi as with a, with dead man would be a lot of fun. It'd be really fun to him see with play with all the angles, all the um, life and death, all of that. Um, so yeah, there you go. At number nine, we have Booster Gold. Booster would be so much fun. I really do think Booster Gold deserves a movie, and I was even tempted to have it, and I would even say, like, have this be Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, but since we're having Jaime Reyes get a Blue Beetle movie, we could get Ted Cord, and maybe that could, uh, what also could be is that Booster shows up, maybe that could be a, uh, an after credit scene in the Blue Beetle movie, where Jaime meets um, Booster coming from the future and the two team up to maybe team up to save Ted Cord in the past or something like that. You, I would hope that we do get something with Ted Cord and Brad and Dan Garrett, um, the first Blue Beetle, in the Blue Beetle movie. And yeah, the next movie can be Blue Beetle and Booster Gold. As for who could play Booster, I don't know. But Booster, talking about Booster Gold as a solo movie would be kind of a fun like he's he's very much like it's not i wouldn't say deadpool level humor but more like something like um pineapple express or something like he's an it he's a he's a big fucking idiot who can't do anything right and at the same time tom king proved that yeah it's all really kind of a ruse and he's really actually depressed because he's kind of a loser doesn't isn't supposed to exist in this time period and he also has a whole burden of protecting time and space it'd be really fun to really play with that like have it be funny but at the same time it's also like oh you actually do a lot in life and you also deal with your own trauma wow so it'd be kind of fun to see that uh, how that how would that be done Yes, I am looking at the list. I wouldn't remember all this off the top of my head. So, number eight is where we get to the remake film, and that is Swamp Thing. And yes, Swamp Thing did have a series. He did have two movies in the past by Wes Craven. No, Wes Craven did the, the first movie. I don't think he did the second movie. That's not even over there. But yeah, a Swamp Thing movie, a Swamp Thing remake, I think is necessary. Do it like a dark horror story, bring in Anton Arcane as the villain, maybe even build up to the rot. Um, in the second film, maybe you could do Animal Man and introduce the Red through that. Definitely play with a lot of like what happened in the Scott Snyder stories and more with Alan Moore stories. I think 
you could, and that's the thing about what I've given DC. As much as they haven't had the best track record with a lot of their DC live action films, I'm they're willing to take risks. Like they're willing to take risks, and I think this and a few other characters like proves that DC could do a D, a straight up horror movie. I think they could straight up do a superhero horror movie, and. Dead Man as well as Swamp Thing are definitely characters that can do that. There's another supernatural character, and we'll get to him later, but yeah. So, Swamp Thing would be phenomenal. Definitely get Derek Mears back as Swamp Thing would be awesome as well. I think that'd be a lot... To have him play Swamp Thing. As for who could play Alec Holland, um... I don't know, honestly. But, anyway... So let's move on to our seventh character, and that is Zatanna. Zatanna, I could definitely see carrying her own movie. I definitely think Zatanna could carry her own movie, have it set in maybe Gotham. She is kind of tangentially care connected to the Bat family. Um, maybe ha use Felix Faust as the villain. That'd be kind of cool. Or Mordred, or even the Wizard. Um, there's a lot of, like... D-list magic villains that you could... Because Zatanna never really had a rogues gallery. So if you were to use a villain, it would be... Like, I honestly could see the villain, if you were to pick one. I could actually see it as Clarion. Clarion would probably be the villain for the story. And... Or Felix Faust. Those would be my two picks for a Zatanna movie. As for who could play Zatanna, I always suck at, at, at fan casting, so yeah. But Zatanna would be just a fun, magical romp story. Um, with a little bit of horror. I could definitely see some horror elements in there, too. Anyway, so there you go. There's my number... Uh, there's my number seven. Moving on to the halfway point with number six, and we're and we're gonna go old school here. We are gonna go straight up old school with this one. I'm talking Sergeant Rock and the Combat Happy Joes. Um, or, excuse me, Easy Company. Combat Happy Joes is Nick Fury. <laughs> but yeah, Easy Company... Uh, it's, uh, you can forgive me, it was, it's, it's interchangeable. But yeah, so, e so Sergeant Rock, you could do this one of two ways. If you did a Sergeant Rock movie, you could do it either a dark, gritty war movie, you could do it a dark, gritty World War II movie, or, like, something in the vein of, like, um, Saving Private Ryan, or, uh, fuck, um, you know, we were soldiers or something of that nature. Or you can go the fun route and introduce like World War Two like super weapon stuff, like almost like Captain America First Avenger. Or even have Ca Sergeant Rock with the creature commandos. That would be a lot of fun too. That's what I like like personally, I would go the former rather than the latter, because I think I like Sergeant Rock could definitely work like that's how you could get people to watch um, a war movie, but also it's a superhero movie it's a comic book movie at the same time. But I wouldn't be opposed to them doing the supernatural elements, too, and have, like, I don't know, Baron Von Blitzkrieg as the villain um, of that nature. I could definitely, with um, Steven Spielberg apparently wanting to make a Blackhawks movie, I would say get St Spielberg to do a Sergeant Rock movie while we're at it. Anyway. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, let's move on to the top five, starting with number five, Hawk Girl. But, you, but multi, you say... You are, we already have Hawk Man. Why do we need Hawk Girl? Because it because A, Hawk Girl's way more popular. B, it wouldn't hurt to build the universe by showing off Hawk Girl and have Hawk Man as the supporting cast. Kind of a nice little throw uh, like switch up of being like, yeah, Hawk Man was introduced in that in um, Black Adam and then you can do a Hawk Girl movie and have the two, and have Hawk Man as the supporting cast because yeah, we all like Hawk Girl a little more, don't we? It's, <laughs> thank you, Justice uh, um, Justice League, uh, you know, the Justice League cartoon. Anyway, as for the story, I really think it could just be them, Shaira and Carter, like, digging into their past lives, and, and then also dealing with the Thanagarians, maybe even have Shadow Thief as the main villain. That'd probably be my first pick, is maybe save the Thanagarians for later, but more have the um... Shadow Thief is the first villain, and then we deal. Then we talk about the alien origin and bring in the Thanagarians later. Ah, sorry, I lost the thing. I lost the list. 
Um, yeah, so now we're on to number four. Sorry about that. I, I zoned out and also I lost the list. My apologies. We're so professional on this channel, aren't we? Um, number four, the question. I would absolutely love a question movie. I think that would be this dark, gritty, almost like psychological thriller type film. Um, definitely play with like conspiracy conspiracy theories or you know brutal crime and whatnot. Definitely that you what you can do with the question. I would even have Renee Montoya as a supporting character in here since later on she does become the question. But yes, this would focus on Vic Sage um, for the first one. But I definitely would have him working with Renee Montoya, who in here I would say got transferred from Gotham to Hub City. Um, so now we move on to the big three. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm dealing with a cold and a lot right now, so I apologize if this video is just a tad bit sloppy. But number three is the Spectre. Here's where we go some hardcore superhero horror, and this is the one I would love to see Scott Derrickson direct from Doctor Strange as well as The Black Phone. I think this could be a perfect Scott Derrickson, uh, Scott Derrickson project. How I would do the movie is basically... Um, it's more of a murder mystery, and the Spectre would be kind of like the monster in the shadows, kind of like that animated short he had a while back. And the, f the story focused on Crispin Allen investigating this, and Jim Cor and it's the murder, the like a cold case murder for Jim Corrigan. And Jim Corrigan is the Spectre, and the story would end with Jim passing on the, the Spectre to Crispin Allen, who becomes the second Spectre. That's how I would do it. Yep, so... <coughs> God, this fucking cold. Anyway, so moving on to number two, and that is Martian Manhunter. I definitely think Martian Manhunter could carry his own movie. Um, you could have Malafa Ak as the villain, or the White Martians, kind of like a um, cool detective story with some element, uh, some cool alien elements in there. It would, it would be for certain a film that could um, definitely play with both a crime drama and a science fiction. I could definitely see it go that way. Um, and yeah, I again, like I said, I could absolutely see um, a, a John Jones carrying his own movie, whether it be him battling Malafa Ak or um, the White Martians, maybe for the second, like, hint at the White Martians in the second film, and have Malafa Ak as the first villain, and then we de we deal with um, a White Martian invasion. Like, that would be kind of cool. <coughs> anyway, so there's, um, there's our top nine, but, and let's move on to number one, which I'm sure you guys already know. If, you, if you've seen, been on this channel long enough, then you already probably know who's going to be number one in my pick, and that's Lobo. Lobo's been hinted at by by James Gunn um, a while back. He was mentioned, but Lobo, if you want to compete with Dead, if DC wants to really compete with Deadpool, and I'm not saying Harley Quinn can't, but you need the guy who did compete with Deadpool in the '90s in with DC, and that's Lobo. You need a vulgar, disgusting like, brutal film. And I know um, Jason Momoa is playing Aquaman. He would have been great. But some people, like, I've said that, like, it's been a really tough cast, but I think that there's two actors, thinking about it, there are two actors I could definitely see play Lobo. The first one being um, Dave Harbour. I do think Dave Harbour could definitely bring the physicality and, like, the crass humor that he that he has. Or Carl Urban. Carl Urban's been named but has been tossed for fan casting for Lobo, and I know I have Carl Urban for uh, um, Alucard, but he would also be a pretty good Lobo. I, after seeing his Billy, after seeing a little bit of Billy Butcher, I'm like, yeah, he could he could pull off Lobo if he could. He just needs to bulk up a bit. So yeah, there you go, guys. Those are my top ten characters I would love to see in the D get DC movies. But you guys, tell me in the comments below what ten characters. Could you see getting, or do you want to see get films from DC, uh, from, uh, you know, Warner Brothers? Just comment below, let me know. Oh, and Chris, I know you're watching this video, so I'm going to relay this to you. I want to see you do your own list. I want to see you make your own list. So, you know, can't wait to see you re make a response to this. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.